have a show for you guys today. I'm your host, Nate Tipperie. In front of me is our audio and technical engineer, Jeffrey Mayfield. And to my left is Brian, the Ooh. community manager. Ooh. That's right. I thought I wasn't going to get a name for her. Yeah, the guy that's here. And then Eric is, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to put Eric's, uh, uh, all the social media info in the description <laughs> this time around so we can go ahead and flame him. On all, all of these platforms where he's, we were going he's to, available. but now you, it's yeah. there now. I, I was, I was going to hold off on that, but just something just came upon me. I'm just like, you know what? <laughs> Screw Eric, right? You know, <laughs> it's called get that for feeling? now. It's, it's called for now at this <laughs> point. So, also speaking of that, he's the reason why we did not have an episode for you guys uh, last week. So that that's also something that you can uh, in, let him know. <laughs> And his very social. We're blaming him entirely. Even if there were other aspects that may or may not have contributed to it. I don't want to talk about it. But yeah, (laughs) even though it was actually Jeff's fault, we're blaming Eric. So (laughs) because he's not here to defend himself. True. (laughs) He can't can't say it wasn't him. Yeah. No. No. No proof. No proof. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Anyways. All right. So uh, to start things off. We're going to uh, kind of shout out our stream that we had uh, hey. on the 19th of Ooh. April, which would have been Man, uh, I would have never last remembered Tuesday. that date. That's true. I completely it, forgot it happened. <laughs> Jeff, you want I mean, to, I yeah, remember I the stream, but I forgot the date. That's well, fair. that's why I had it conveniently placed up there. Oh, for, it is. For, yep, exactly. So <laughs> there you go. Wow. Uh, I know. I think of everything, guys. You know, not only am I handsome, I also have brains. So just yeah. throw that out there. It's a little weird you're talking about Brian like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we played sea of, sea of Thieves. It was pretty fun. We were pirates. I, we were pirates. I very much enjoyed it. It was awesome. We uh, uploaded we, we that on our... Jack Sparrow. Uh, yeah, he was yeah, there. Did. His name was Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Wow. No, it was like actually Jack Sparrow. It was actually Jack Sparrow. No, it was huh. They had a collaboration huh. with uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Huh. And we did the quest that was yeah. the collaboration. Jack we Sparrow getting bullied. Too bad. We, yeah. We He's... met the one. What was the one <laughs> that did happen? We talked about that on we the did, stream. We too. definitely oh, talked okay, about cool. that on the stream. Um, yeah. The one lady from Amber the and John Calypso. Baby. Amber Heard? No, not Amber Heard. She was not in the movie. <laughs> was she? I, I can't remember if she was there or not. No. We met. If, if yeah, you, we saw Calypso. If you, if you want to know, you got to go check out, yeah, <laughs> check out our stream on YouTube. It's on True. the YouTube. It's Honestly. in a playlist, though. I don't know if it'll appear on the main page. Yeah, it does. It's in the. There's a stream playlist separate from the episodes. Okay. So and that it just logs our old streams there. So not everyone was available. It was I'm me, pretty Brian. sure they stay up as well. Yeah, thanks for cutting me off, Brian. You know, th- whoops. This podcast thing, <laughs> there has a nice ebb and flow to it. But if you're gonna cut me off like that, getting uh, cut off. Yeah, I, I think that, this is just not gonna work yet. No, no. <laughs> no. Needs to cut off no. the food. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Oh, no. <laughs> we all just ate the exact same thing. That's what's even but you worse. ate more of it than us. <laughs> no, I didn't. You enjoyed it more. Yeah. <laughs> You should have seen the look on his face. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you're awful. Uh, <laughs> I'm blaming him, Jeff. He, he catalyzed this, and I just had to jump in. <laughs> no. But what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Sea of Thieves. We played that. Uh, so it was me, Brian, and Tyler Gray, a friend of ours. Yeah. Um, he's been a big supporter throughout Tyler. this entire yeah. um Vendetta. Of, I guess Vendetta is not quite I would say I have a vendetta. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're quite angry. That's not quite the right word, but this entire journey so Venture. far. We haven't Venture. gotten to my vendetta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Tigre3025 on Twitch. On right? Twitch, yeah. We'll, we'll link that again in the description of this, this video just in case. But we also have it listed in the on stream. the main video of, yeah. of the stream. So yeah. go ahead and go check that out. And thank you again, Tyler, for playing. It was a blast. So for potential games in the okay, so for potential streams in the future, we're definitely going to play some more games. Um, We have some ideas. Our plan is Tuesdays, right? Right now, right now, tentatively. Tentatively, yeah, Tuesdays. Um, Overwatch Two beta. If we can get access to that, we'll probably stream a couple more days yeah next, we'll probably next, next week stretch. which that's april april 26th and i'll probably talk a little bit about about that more later on so so yeah if if there's anything you guys want to watch just let us know um we will be happy to play it um ultimately we're going to play games that we want to play 
but getting your feedback and, and some of the things that you want to see is also very helpful for us. So someone, so, so, someone please recommend Turn Up Boy commits tax evasion. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So we were thinking about games we could potentially play, play for Nick Stream. So I went to like the uh, Game Pass for PC, and there was a new game advertised for the Game Pass, and it was Turn Up Boy commits tax evasion. It was the name I'm of like, the game. We gotta play this. <laughs> gotta play that one. Unfortunately, it's not multiplayer, so I don't know if we'll ever get to it. But maybe if I'm feeling a we'll little do, spunky we'll, one night, I might we'll uh, <laughs> play solo and stream, stream our at, POVs at the same time. The same there we time. Go. <laughs> so be on the lookout for more streams. Uh, some games we have thought about Terraria, Apex, Fortnite, Sea of Thieves, anything. We'll play anything. Uh, we're, uh, we're open to the August, especially since we have Game Pass, which is immense value. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. a great and, deal. So that's a, a phenomenal deal. So we all will have access to a plethora of games. I actually don't have Game Pass. Well, you can get it for a buck for a month for the first month, Jeff. So. I already did that. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to well, have to. Well, you can get it for nine ninety-nine, Something like that. If you can, you can squeeze. I, I'll get it. I'll get it whenever this starts making money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, we're not about the money. Come on. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Oh yeah, goodness. speaking of ants, I've been attacked He's lying. constantly. It wasn't, Brian, it wasn't so real. the exterminator was supposed to show up. Yeah, Apparently he snuck onto the property. Not here. He snuck outside. <laughs> there were three of us sitting in here with the lights on and three cars outside. So yeah, there were three and cars. And he treated the outside of the house for <laughs> ants and said that no one was home. Nobody and home. Left. Nobody home. And we're all sitting here. With three vehicles in the driveway. And he's like, nope, nope, nobody here. It didn't even knock on the door. Like, no, nope, he did. just left. And so, uh, so we still have ants. So the ants are still a problem in Brian's living space. And they're still attacking me. So if I <laughs> jump or, you know, do a random kick, is I, I don't know why I do that. But, you know, if, if I get bit, I just get ants in my pants. Ants in my pants. You're, you're exactly right. <laughs> Throw so, it back. Throw, throw it back. <laughs> Okay, so um, where was I? We're, we're really getting lost in thought. Oh, no. <laughs> Gotta throw that pun in there every once in a while. Lit. 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 So, but yeah, look out for streams in the future. We're going to be playing a lot of Overwatch next week. So, that is for sure. Yes. Um, so, upcoming coming content. I think Brian and I are going to try to get a clips video of our stream. Of Sea of Thieves, yeah, we're and gonna, condense that down to a short video. At the very least, at we'll least have like, a, like the shorts, YouTube shorts. Yeah, we have some like ideas that. for that, mm. mainly yeah. because we're real good at parking boats. So oh, we're baby. really good at parking boats. We got some good clips of us Backing parking up, on boats. <laughs> we we, we backed it up, involve, all right? Which involve <laughs> parking our boats straight on the uh, on, on on the land, beach, on nice the beach. on the shoreline, yeah. You know, I mean, it whatever gets the job wasn't done. even close. That's how <laughs> they did it back in the old days. That's how they did it. Back. <laughs> it definitely didn't just leave it in the water. No, no. Nope. Drop the anchor. Nope. No, nope. nope. absolutely not. Brian, were you there during the old days? Didn't think so. True. I know exactly. <laughs> Couldn't <laughs> prove it. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't prove Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah, so we'll probably condense or have a little YouTube short, uh, condense it into a video or have YouTube shorts. We're still figuring that out. So, or maybe both. Or both. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, we also have another, a little bit of a teaser trailer for some some content in the future that is going that to be. That should be next week, right? Yeah, that should, should, yeah. Fingers crossed, should be next week. So That's fair. we will potentially be uploading a. Depends on if Eric ruins it. Depends on if, <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Eric could, could ruin this project. so Or at least delay this project in, in, for, inevitably. Who knows? For who knows so, how long. <laughs> so be on the lookout for that. We're going to have a trailer video in a very, very special podcast next week. Fingers crossed. If you can already probably piece it together, we're hoping to have Eric on the podcast for the first time next week. So because we're going back to back weeks because we missed the week. So yeah, so we're going back to back weeks. That's another that's another uh good point to bring up. We'll be going uh we'll be live or not live, but we'll upload a video uh Monday, 10 a.m. Oh, we got a lot of per normal. Okay, we have a lot of content. Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday stream is over is Overwatch will be a stream. Two. Overwatch two. If it's not Overwatch two, it'll be something else, probably just 
regular Overwatch. We'll be talking a lot about Overwatch too. <laughs> depends on if we get the key, beta keys. We depends if we get the beta key. And, and then I have an alpha Thursday. key because I'm better than you. Thursday. No, the alpha's over, <laughs> It was get a alpha'd. dumb joke. Get alpha And then That's what I thought. Yeah. Shut up, up. Jeff. Only a beta I'm would respond. An <laughs> Definitely a beta. <laughs> Trying to Made make it a announcement. <laughs> I don't deserve this. Or just pick on me. I'm sorry, Brian. Why are you picking on me? We can I'm pick sorry, on Eric. We I'm can sorry. pick on Eric. He's not even here. You're right. You're, You're right, right in Eric. front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see Eric. True. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even know if Eric exists. To be honest, Fair I've heard point. rumors about Fever him. Fever dream. Yeah, it, could, Fever it, dream. We, it may not actually. We yet. all hallucinated him collectively. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sorry, Brian. About the, then, you know the cutting off thing I said earlier. Yeah, you know? <laughs> it's back. So yeah, that only I applies say, to me, by the way. Gosh dang it! <laughs> Podcast <laughs> stream on Tuesday. Just to be, and then Thursday we're doing something special. At least we're planning on it as long as it works. Thursday the NFL draft starts at seven ish. Seven would be, I'm pretty sure it's, it's typically seven. Right? I believe it's seven. I'd have to double check. I, it is a late event, so it I might start you. later. But uh, the NFL draft starts, and we're going to do a watch along on this channel where, I mean, we can't obviously just restream their broadcast because that's not legal. We what don't have we rights do to that. With a controller. <coughs> what? Like we're playing. Yeah, like what if oh, we what yeah, if we bring out put, Madden? You just put, um, put <laughs> and Madden just, like, on the screen, make it all the way to like. <laughs> yeah. the, do they have like? I haven't played Madden since. Like, they have a draft Madden yeah. twelve, so you can just, it's it's just the Madden. We could draft. reenact Madden it on draft. Madden. That would be so. But, cool. um, but we're going to be streaming a watch along of the NFL draft with the three of us, at least the two of us to start. Me and Nate will be here, and then Jeff might have to join us a little bit later if he can't make it right at the beginning. You've drafted. D's nuts from Indiana University. I already had something in my throat. It wasn't even that funny, but it was a D's you got it. Oh, Jeff, please. There's children watching. <laughs> well, oh, I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Kind of hot for so us all of these nuts, Brian. For real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Continue. <laughs> it keeps going. It's not me. Wait a Thursday. second. Who's show? Aren't I supposed to be reading this stuff? When did you take over, Brian? Dude, we like, were talking like... about the draft thing. You oh, told yeah, me right. I'm in charge of that. Yeah, you, you are in charge, but I didn't say you could speak. <laughs> okay, sorry. Continue. <laughs> you told me you wanted nothing to do with the planning on that. I said I'd make the jokes, and I'm making the jokes, Brian. Okay. That's fair. You did say you would make the jokes. <laughs> But yes, that'll be Thursday. We'll be live probably about 30 minutes, 20 minutes before draft time. And we'll put some posts up about that. I mean, there'll probably already be posts up about that by the time that this goes live. Yeah, so we have podcasts, we have gaming stream, we have draft party, and we also have the teaser trailer. So there's a lot of stuff coming. Ooh, and then the podcast this. on Monday. And then the yeah. podcast on Monday. So. We're going to release so much content. I We're going to have to start paying for the distribution you're service. Right. Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> right. Oh, no. We didn't think about that. Oh, no. We okay. made a mistake. <laughs> it's too late. It's not that expensive. Excuse Nate's me. dead. Sorry. He's back. Okay. He's so, back. All the way back. So, yeah. So, football draft be looking out for and all the other content we mentioned so so yeah so we'll be talking a little bit about that today we'll also be talking about some well i guess we can talk about the our equipment upgrades right now so oh baby hopefully our audio quality will be a lot better it this sounds around, a lot better in the already, test we ran we did a test yeah. run and it sounds phenomenal right now so i'm really looking forward to seeing uh the outcome yeah. Uh, uh, once we upload this video on Monday, so hopefully it's better for you guys. And uh, you know, uh, just the amount of support we've got already has motivated us to, you know, essentially you know, go out and purchase and procure more items just to better the stream for for you. So we appreciate all the all the support. But Jeff, why are you doing this? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying, and don't forget the sponsor. Oh yeah. Oh, that's sponsor. right. Our sponsor, my sister, and Jeff's right. fiance, Maddie Lawyer. The two tripods. Oh, she, she brought us, she she brought two, us tripods. two tripods. Yeah. 
Thank yeah, you. We, oh, went yeah, to, so we, we went to Target with her, and she told us we could have three items. We bought two tripods and, and one saved one for and later. And we saved one for <laughs> later. <laughs> so yeah. we, can, we can redeem one item at Target for our stream for in the GoPro. future. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> if we one make, it, if we make her an executive, <laughs> if we make it her an executive producer, she did hesitate and think about a GoPro. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So we put, we put that in the yeah, credits boy. of this. We might we might be able to swing ourselves a GoPro soon. That would be awesome. So we'll even maybe with the better camera money. angles. <laughs> just, just take the weight. It's like you know what? Uh, it's a little keto yeah. ropro po. Bro, what, no, bro. Oh my goodness! I hit it in your What did you Why say the other stream? day where you messed it up? And I stuttered like eight words together. You. W- it was one of the dumbest things I've ever. It was heard. really oh bad. <laughs> it was so it was bad. Terrible. I started yeah. like four words together. At I the thought same about time. calling nine one one. I thought <laughs> it was something wrong. It was, was right. It was on the seizure. front porch. I know. I was actually we walking it. in. I was talking about something and in, in the GoPro, and I combined the three words into one. Yeah. And I'm just like, wait a minute. It was that crazy. was not what. That was not a word. Oh well, uh, no, you know well, it happens you know. to the best of us. But yeah, so GoPro, <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice. Okay, so other than that, uh, we're gonna be talking a little bit of Lego Star Wars today, uh, NBA playoffs, Ooh, NBA playoffs. Uh, then we're gonna go a little bit more in depth. We're gonna watch two beta. I put war games there. I honestly just forgot to delete that. <laughs> I was gonna talk about that last week, but we can we could touch. I, I like board games a lot. <laughs> End of story. Okay, moving on. We play Sea of Thieves board oh, game too. We we do play Sea of Thieves uh, tabletop RPG, and that's really fun. I mean, um, I guess a quick way, if we want to touch on that, would be if we figure out a way to stream, stream that, that with somebody. Would potentially people in the future, though, so Tyler Tyler Gray, <laughs> uh, who's been he was part of the stream, has been a big supporter, as we have mentioned. He has a extreme gift or talent for voice acting, so I thought about getting him involved in this and maybe we could stream us playing pirates as pirates with him voice acting i think that would that be, would actually be really cool that would be really cool so uh that may be something in the future that we might be able to pull off so um i'm actually gonna cut in a little bit to the sports so uh Talk take a take a take boy <laughs> take a little bit that was so out of context that was so out of context no no gonna 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 we're that not reference. gonna elaborate no. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> but I'm going to take five minutes out of this that we have allocated for sports and talk uh, about our adventure. I'm sorry, Brian. Sports. <laughs> our no, a little adventure We've that we took about today. about the draft, which was part of sports anyway. So, so, um, so we had to go oh and my pick God, up Maddie. How did Maddie. I already forget about our adventure? <laughs> yeah, for real. We it were going to happened. pick up Maddie. And we're like, all oh, good. I was like, hey, you know what? Why don't we all go and then pick up pizza afterwards? And we can eat before we stream. Or I guess we're not taking the stream before we record the video um, for the podcast. And so we're like, all right, cool. So we all rush outside. Brian gets ready to lock the door and just like, oh, wait, I got to go grab my key so I can roll up the window in Maddie's car. Right. And then everybody else thought, and everyone oh, else, so we'll take Maddie's, Maddie's car. <laughs> and so we proceed, or Jeff proceeds to get his keys. He walks out. We're all out. Brian locks the door and closes the door, and we leave everybody's keys. Inside. At least what we thought was everybody's keys inside. inside. The house. So but it the turns main out- problem was is we left my keys, keys. and Jeff's, Jeff's keys. keys, who have my house key on it, inside the house. So Brian's house key was in the house, and then the person he gave his spare key to me also had left their keys <laughs> inside the house. <laughs> so we had locked ourselves out <laughs> of where we were recording <laughs> this we podcast. Record. So we we're like. You know, we were like thinking about ways to potentially pick the door, pry the door open, kick the door down, go to roll, <laughs> roll king and, our, and buy a shotgun. To sh- <laughs> you know, there's a lot of possibilities we thought of to, to get the, to get inside Brian's house, but we're like, uh, you know, that's that's a problem for later us. Let's go ahead. And get- <laughs> we just left. <laughs> we, so we, we just left. When you got Maddie, and so got yeah, pizza. so we went to we went and got uh, uh, our converter ports for headphones right yep. oh yeah that too. Yep. Or whatever those are called I know for sure but um basically for our headphones and then we went and picked up maddie from work went and got pizza and came back so by that time we're like oh wait we still gotta get right. back we into locked the- ourselves out of the house. <laughs> get back in the house 
So we're looking around, looking for any potential windows that are unlocked, which they were not. See if the back door is unlocked, whatever. We're not. Well, fortunately, at first I thought I'd forgotten my keys as well because I have tools in the back of my car that were potentially useful. So fortunately, I ended up finding out that I did have my keys on me. So that was a plus because then we were able to get tools to eventually break the frame. Take the door frame. <laughs> Take the off door frame the door off so the that door. So we could get to the part to where we could Which we the then card proceeded in. to get my old crimson card. Well, hold on. Before that, I used oh, my right. old credit card oh, yeah, true. to try and pick the door. And then as I did that, I dropped it and it went inside. I don't even the know tiles. how. Like, I don't quite understand the physics about what happened there because it looked like he dropped it right, it and gravity down. was carrying it down. Then all of a sudden, it just got sucked in through the crevice so between the like door frame feet into the house. Yeah, like, this is the card that Jeff usually uses to pick pe- locks. Pick lock. So, so he's using the credit destroyed. card to yeah to, to essentially go between the you know and so the door frame lost- and the. In the latch in the door, right? On and the so door then knob. we lost the guard, the door, like the lock picking card inside the house. <laughs> yeah. It just got so, so I don't now, even understand. I don't even understand how that happened. Now we have Brian's house key, my key to Brian's house, and the, and the lock master lock card <laughs> inside, inside the, the house. house. The skeleton key debit card gone. <laughs> 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 so eventually I end up using my crimson card. And we were able to get some pliers because we couldn't, because we, we didn't take the door frame completely oh, off and just kind of like snapped it back so we can fit the, <laughs> the yeah, as you do, as you do, you know. <laughs> we, I don't understand. Yeah, it's the common. bright side. We were planning on replacing the door anyway, so, so so it was a willing sacrifice to get in to record the podcast. So so we eventually made it in. The store is going to be gone anyways. So all's well that ends well, right, boys? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it was an adventure, though. It was that's de- true. Definitely. Well, we got our earpieces so we can hear. That's true. Yeah, but progress was made. Yeah, yeah. We t- we took one step back, and, and we got part forward. of the door frame off for when I have to. That's true for the tomorrow. Door. True. Tomorrow, that's less work for you guys. I'm pretty sure great. I have to do it tomorrow now because we took the door frame off, so I got to do it now sooner rather than later. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yep. <laughs> so hey, you know, it it was just a win all around. Actually, you can you know, look, if you look through back, the door frame and see outside now, which yeah. is not ideal. So hopefully there's no loud Probably noises. Probably where the ants are coming from. <laughs> Surely not. The exterminator was here. Yeah. True, he's buried outside. He was 100% here. So yeah. So all right, but um, so yeah, NBA playoffs. Uh, I have not been watching too I've much. Been watching. I've been I've been listening to some some commentary and some uh, shows as well. What do we want to start with? Channel. So I guess the first thing I have listed there is Toronto. Toronto is, is, is in, in shambles, shambles right now. So Rip in peace, um, 76ers in peace. versus the uh, Toronto Raptors is turning out to be yeah. pretty much a slaughter. I picked the oh. Raptors. <laughs> oh no, Brian! Screw this the is- Sixers. <laughs> I, fi- I filled out the like pick 'em bracket that the NBA oh, does. So they're doing like that. Oh, so what's the main the main prize for that? This is like a million dollars. Like a million dollars. Yeah. Really. Or is it million dollar oh. in prizes? No, it's a million oh, okay. dollars, and you get a million dollars if you win, and it's broken. Uh, the prize isn't broken down, but I mean, it would be a lot easier to tie in an NBA bracket, right? That's true. That's true. But uh, it's broken down by the uh, you pick the games too, like so, like it's if you think the Sixers are going to win in four or five or six. Oh, gotcha. So you pick that, and that it uses that as like their tiebreakers and stuff too. So like I had Raptors in seven. Oh no! But I hey, picked that. Wait, I picked it's that. Possible. It technically is possible. Well, it, it, I picked that, assuming three of their starters would not get hurt in game one. That's and fair. then also that it would matter that Matisse Tyvel was not playing in the games in Toronto because he's not true. vaccinated, so oh, he can't true. play. I forgot. About so my thought process was the Raptors had a pretty good shot, but then the Raptors they had two starters and a six man get hurt in game one. And Scotty Barnes, their rookie of the year guy, is still not back. Mm. So they're just in complete shambles, and they're mm. getting then they saw Embiid and beat and beat their pants. Yeah, yeah. Embiid is <laughs> on a tear. They're they're saving grace, however. Embiid, is, he is hurt. He is hurt. So I don't they know. They said if it's a right thumb sprain, and he is projected to still play. But they also said that 
if the pain continues, they fear it might be a ligament tear in his thumb Ooh. and that he'll need an MRI, but he plans to play through it even if it's a ligament tear in his thumb. Right. Yeah, which, I mean, it's, it, it's still painful, but you can't play through injuries like that, so... And Embiid's probably played through worse. And uh, I he would tends, assume he tends with to his play track through record, injuries yeah. every year. He definitely yeah. uh, is probably... After the first two years where he set out with injuries, he said, I'm done with that, and just <laughs> plays through all of them now. Yeah. Okay, so... But moving on from Toronto and Philly, because that series is a blowout. Rest <laughs> in peace to the Utah Jays. <laughs> Also, a, <laughs> to also be fair, a they're player. only down two one, but Luca has not touched the floor yet, and they're somehow losing to the Mavericks. Yeah. So what what happened to Luca? What was Luca has a game eighty two of the season last game of the year? He had a, a grade two calf strain. Okay. And he is projected to be back for the next game, game four. They okay. said it was yep. down to game three or four, and he was projected to either play in game three and be back and use it as like conditioning to ramp up to game four. Or he would not play in game three, and if he didn't play in game three, he was going to be a near lock to play in game four. Okay. But and yeah. so he's projected to play. They play game three. They won without him. They're up two. Mavs are up two one, and Luka comes back. Yeah. Honestly, I think Utah is the more complete team. At least they've shown that historically. Yeah. These past few years. Yeah, but, but Rudy Gobert is getting exposed again. But, yeah. Every but, year. Every year around this time, and then every year people forget and are like, "Hey, this guy should be the defensive player of the year." Yep. Every year, Donovan Mitchell turns into the second coming of Michael Jordan, yeah. and then every year Rudy Gobert decides to stop it. No, so yeah, yeah, that, no, the that's exactly what the Mavs did. They essentially just got him in switches and targeted him the whole game, and he just yeah. got burnt. No, there, there's definitely been some good coaching. And then the, uh, the on the Mavericks side. The Jazz also, I mean, and then they're reluctant to not play Rudy Gobert because he's yeah. supposed to be one of their best players. Right. So he was getting torched. They came out of the third quarter. He played two minutes, and they went small. And they went on it. They won the third quarter by like fifteen and got back into a six point game. And then immediately went big again with Gobert for the fourth quarter and lost by fifteen. No. So yep. they yep. they threw it back out the window. What was working and went back to Gobert because he's one of their best players. He's supposed to be anyway. I mean, he's paid mm-hmm. on a max. Make, yeah, making thirty seven. Oh, he's making yeah. so much money. And so, and I mean, honestly, they, when he's on, he just got exposed over and over again. When he's, on, when he's, he's on, he's on. He's on yeah, but in the playoffs, on. he gets torched because they just he has no range. Him. He has no. He doesn't have the mobility or the range to step out and shoot or to switch on to a guard. Yeah. No, he's very he's very one dimensional in that aspect. And if he's, he's not just, doing his one job correctly, probably, it's, I mean, he's he a liability. He's probably probably the best shot blocker in the league. Oh, easily, yeah. Yeah. But he just gets exposed every other way. And shot blocker is all that people care about when it comes to defensive player of the year, except for this year because Marcus Smart won and the Celtics are goaded. Yeah, but Easy Marcus the bum smart. It. Didn't deserve it. <laughs> yes, he did. Nope. And you know he did. You just like to say it because you know I think opposite. No, it's because I follow Celtics Twitter and I see everybody adding the Celtics Twitter and how stupid they are, even though they're right this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was nice. That was a pleasant surprise. Marcus Smart winning defensive player of the year. I yeah. thought he deserved it and I thought he should win it, but I didn't think he would because a guard hasn't won it since Gary Payton in 96. Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. It's cool to see a guard win defensive player of the yeah, year. Marcus I didn't know Smart it was, was the first. It, it was uncommon. 19, 1996. Gary Payton was the last player, it's last nuts. guard to win defensive player of the year. And that's who presented Marcus with yeah. his award. 26 years. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, good for, I don't even know who all those, who run one rookie of the I don't. I don't even know who. No, the uh, defensive player of the year and the, who, what is the, the equivalent player? of. The Walter Payne Man of the Year, except for the NBA. I think it's Joe Dumars Player of the Year, Sportsmanship. Gotcha. Are the only two that have been announced. Okay. I didn't know what has been Marcus announced. Smart won the uh, Defensive Player of the Year, and Patty Mills won the Sportsmanship one. Gotcha. Couldn't remember, but I, I think it was Patty Mills. That one was just announced today. Okay. Gotcha. So, cool. yeah, I haven't been following NBA too much. No, the Which others is- are all pretty tight. Rookie of the Year is going to be a toss-up. It's yeah. pretty much three of them the same that thing could all win NBA. it. Yeah. Yeah. MVP has three of them that could all win it. Yep. Um, they haven't announced the finalists yet for MVP, have they? Yeah, I think I thought it was uh, 
No, they did. Luka, you're right. Not Luca. Excuse it's me. It's Embiid, Embiid, Jokic, uh, and, and Giannis. Giannis. Yes. yes, they did. And then Rookie of the Year: Scotty Barnes, um, Evan Mobley, and Kate Cunningham. Yep. Six Man of the Year did not have Jordan Poole on the list, or not Six Man of the Year, Most Improved. Huh. Left off Jordan Poole. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> yeah. No, the guy. It sounded like Ja was going to win it. It seemed like. A uh, runaway for Ja. Yeah. And then six man of the year was pretty much unanimous. It was Tyler Hero. Yeah. But well, why? Yeah. Him, he's he only had, averaging what? Only, like, he averaged 22 off 20 the bench. something off the bench. He, he's their best scorer and he comes off the bench. Because he plays 38 minutes a game. Yeah. yeah he's actually not <laughs> off the bench. <laughs> he, he doesn't start so that they can stagger him off of Jimmy for like the first half and then they play together the rest of the game. Right. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, moving on from that, uh, Nick, Nikola. Okay, um, he's been playing pretty well, but uh, his team, Jokic. his team is uh, not bringing the support. We'll, no, they're very bad. We'll, we'll say that Jamal, yeah. Jamal Murray. <laughs> we he they needs need him back desperately. Oh. He might have died. I mean, he hasn't played in two years. I'm not sure he's still alive. But yeah, yeah. So uh, they're up, and by they. Um, the Warriors. The Warriors were 3-0. That series is essentially over. It, it's pretty fair, much over. It is also the Warriors. Yeah. I mean, like, obviously the Nuggets need more help, but they've been, the Warriors, Warriors are also The Warriors good. of old are back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. I, if, I feel like they're, they're they chemistry. They replaced Kevin Durant with Jordan Poole and somehow got better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. I don't get it. So. So, yeah. So, in that series, essentially over. Um, Nets. The, the however, a series that seems to be a little a lot closer than it needs to be currently is, and to a lot of people's surprise, is the Suns. Oh, Pelicans. yep. Suns Pelicans is tied one one. That's true. So they play tonight. They play tonight. And Devin Booker's out. Devin Booker's out two to three weeks with a is it MCL sprain or is that? Chris, Chris Middleton, Middleton has an MCL, MCL sprain. I don't know what Devin Booker has. It might be the same thing. Might be something. It might be different grades too, because Chris Middleton. I know Devin Booker's two to three weeks. Chris Middleton's three to four. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I thought they might have both been MCL sprains. Okay. Yeah. So those two guys. Although that's those are big hits for for the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks with Chris one, Middleton one, and then uh, for the Phoenix Suns, Devin right. Booker. So yeah. those series could go. So those series Wrong, are both really split quick. now too, and those are ones that you they thought Bucks, you, Bucks and Suns would probably run away with. Run away easily, especially how hot they both have been playing. Yeah, both teams, so. especially the Suns. Oh yeah, the Suns, the Suns have Suns been the hottest team in the league. Unstoppable this year. So, yeah. <laughs> and then I guess the final team, the Nets. Yeah, <laughs> good old Nets. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie yeah, the Irving. Kyrie Irving. <laughs> and, uh, Kevin Durant are not looking so hot. I don't even believe most of that stuff. Like I didn't hate Kyrie when he was here. You know, he was a great yeah. guy. This is coming from a, you know, very outspoken Celtics fan. Didn't mind. I mean, he was fun to watch. I have a Kyrie jersey. Yeah. But boy, it is nice watching him lose. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I <laughs> it agree. It feels great. <laughs> Especially with his antics. Especially because he's losing board. to the Celtics. Yeah. yeah. The Celtics that, that he even technically better. should be on right now. Yeah, he should be there. He Did said you he was imagine how sign. unreal that lineup would be? I honestly yeah. think it would be worse. That's To fair. be completely yeah. honest. That's true. Because their chemistry was not good. Their, uh, essentially think, their I distribution think they do all of... really like him, though. They still out. No, yeah, they, they still say really they like, like him. him. But I, I mean, I do agree with I, that. I, also. I guess the scoring sorry. distribution would just be scoring distribution. ridiculous and, to try to figure out. Yeah, when I was talking about team chemistry, maybe not necessarily in terms of their personalities meshing together. No, I think but most their play of it was on flo- their play styles was, and on yeah, floor because on floor. Kyrie came here to be the alpha. Yeah. And, and they even quickly in year realized one, it was I say they quickly realized in year one that Tatum was better. Yeah. Oh. He was the alpha of the room. He was the I mean, and it's not even that he's really that much better of a player. Like Kyrie is a I mean, he's a top NBA player in the entire league. Kyrie will probably go down as a better player. Well, who knows? We'll, we'll I mean, see. He might even not. The maybe. issue, the difference is, is Tatum and Kyrie score at the same level, and Tatum's 6'10", and Kyrie's not. Exactly. Yeah. Right. 
And so the guy who's six ten is going to be better is going to be the guy that you take every single time, right? Because he can. I mean, he did it to Goran Dragic the other day. He shot the dagger. Goran Dragic was in on him. It just didn't matter because no, Goran so Dragic much and Goran Dragic is six three. And Tatum's 16. He just shot it straight over him with the hand in his Jason face. Jason Tatum's one, one of those guys that has like sleeper height. Like you don't even realize he's that tall. No. It's, and it's because he grew after he got in the league. He was 6'7 yeah. when he was drafted. Yeah, I know. I had to go into 2K and change Because <laughs> <laughs> they didn't update it. Yeah. But yeah, so. We'll, 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 but no, that'll be, I think it'll be a good series. I don't think it's over yet. I do think that Rob Williams coming back is an absolute game changer for the Celtics because they are absurd defensively when he plays. Yep. And they are already clamping KD and Kyrie right now. Yep. I mean, KD, or Kyrie had 39 in the oh, first game. Oh, their defense game. has been phenomenal. Kyrie had 39 in the first game, but KD has been off his game for two games in a row, yep. and that's never happened in the entirety of KD's career. No. Yep. Tatum is smothering that man right now. Yep. And that's the other thing about Tatum, too, is Tatum is a two-way superstar. No, he doesn't play defense. That's what Shaq says. Shaq <laughs> still says that to this day. He says that the Celtics don't defend well he always picks the Nets in every TNT game because the Celtics don't defend well. Jalen Brown isn't consistent, and Jason Tatum doesn't play defense. <laughs> Those are his three reasons every single time. <laughs> right. It seems like you're taking this personally. I will because he hasn't. He's watched ten TNT games this year where the Celtics won on average by thirty, and the man still watches it. And he's like, "Hey, they don't play defense." I thought you were a Nets fan. Yeah. No, I hate them. <laughs> Didn't you say you like love Kyrie or something just earlier? Yeah, for real. No, I don't mind Kyrie. Kyrie's a great guy. <laughs> he's he's weird. Well, <laughs> well, I don't know if I go that far, yeah. Brian. No, I think in personality wise, he is very awkward and he's very weird. Yeah, and he obviously does not line up with our beliefs. Right. But in terms of being a good guy, he never yeah. seems to rub anyone wrong. Every, all of his That's teammates true. always love him. Like he seems to be a good locker room guy, good guy off the court. He's just he just slips off things. Yeah, which to be fair. <laughs> 100% earned. Absolutely love that. Yeah. I love that the man had a spine in that moment. <laughs> I don't because a lot of the times, he doesn't have a spine in that moment. It's true. <laughs> he has a very big tendency to crumble when the pressure get like, not the pressure gets high. When you hit that shot with the Cavs, it's one of the best shots of all time. Yeah. But like when, especially in Boston, when the fans turned on him, I mean, he just, he checked out and he, he was left in the middle of the postseason with an injury that wasn't that bad the whole year, but suddenly it was really bad. Yeah. And it wasn't bad as soon as the season ended. Right. So, like, it yeah. was just, it was one of those weird things that didn't make a whole lot of sense. And that's why a lot of Boston fans don't like him. But he did flip off the crowd, and I did think it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> they, I mean, I like that they, he'll go back and forth with the fans. Yeah. Because last year, True. he, and even when he was in Boston with Cleveland, he missed every single game in Cleveland. Yeah. With some oh, injury. That's right. I, with some injury that came up that came out of nowhere. Yeah. Like he wasn't hurt before. But suddenly when it came time to play Cleveland, he had a ghost injury. Yeah. yeah. And it happened for the first year in Boston too. He didn't play in Boston either. But this year he's been back and he messes with the fans and it's actually hilarious. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I think the Celtics have a good chance, especially with Rob coming back. I think that that's yep. will be significantly better though, because KD uh, and Kyrie no, will you play can't, better. You, in you can't expect KD to yeah. have a, a third game in a row. I mean, they'll play off. they'll play better in Brooklyn. It's just a matter of will it matter? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you will definitely definitely expect to see the Nets bounce back because you could, uh, yeah. And the thing you could argue too for the Celtics or side, game, what game? It's game three. Yeah. Game three. And the thing you could argue for the Celtics side too is Tatum's played terrible two games in a row. That's true. So like if Tatum goes out and he drops 40, then it doesn't matter what KD and Kyrie are doing because they're probably it's going to bounce out again. No, yeah. Yep. Because Tatum shot three of 15 or something in the last game. He just happened to hit and a dagger three and play defense. Right. Like yeah, you can't expect him to have another off night like that. So it kind of goes both ways with, I mean, it's going to be a good series. Both teams are going to play better than they have, and it's just a matter of, and I mean, the Nets could, I mean, potentially be getting Ben Simmons back game four too. Not getting three, but getting four. True. The, the, issue, the Celtics are the issue definitely becomes, winning. <laughs> yeah, the issue becomes then, though, is if you lose game three and the Celtics show up 3-0, is it even worth it to rush Ben back from an injury? Right. Because you're probably not winning the series no matter what. Yep. Because that requires you to win four in a row, and two of them have to be in Boston. Yep. Yep, for sure. So, 
Um, with that, I guess we've already talked about the draft. Yeah, um, that's true. And shift into the NFL. We, we talked about draft. We'll be live on Thursday. We'll be live on Thursday. So hopefully, uh, we'll have a little bit of draft discussion. I mean, I don't know that you guys know a whole lot of the guys coming up. You might know some of them, but I know literally nobody. I didn't. I didn't think <laughs> so, but. There's, I mean, the quarterbacks. I'll give my expert might, analysis. The quarterbacks live you might know. Thursday, there's the next guy, Thursday. the Kenny Pickett, the guy that faked the slide that everyone uh, likes from college. He wears the two that, gloves. That was hilarious. That. Yeah, <laughs> they made a rule about that now. Can't I know. do that anymore. I know. Um, but Kenny Pickett is in there. I mean, he'll be a first rounder most likely, unless something happens. Uh, a couple guys from Michigan, Ohio State guys, wide receivers, two of them. So I mean, there's two of the Colts. Colts time for first round Do the Colts in the second we round? We gave it away because <laughs> we tried. To we gave it away for Carson. For Carson. But given we they did save more like 40 point. second picks anyway. Yeah, <laughs> for real. They track more to the round. I'd rank them as like the 40 second best prospect. <laughs> Probably just go around the pick. Definitely. Yeah, that's the, my yeah. expert opinion. The top wide receiver in the draft. Yeah, this seems like number 42 to me. <laughs> this is just a weak draft uh, in receivers. <laughs> Not good at all. Definitely not one of the deepest ever. Yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, so be on the lookout for that. Um, Are we but, shifting off sports now? But we're going to go ahead and shift off sports. Yeah. Brian, it seems like you talk for another hour about that. It's, that's and, what Thursday's for. Yeah, but that's what Thursday's for. So um, we are going to go ahead and shift our focus to gaming in some Lego Star Ooh. Wars. Ooh. We're gonna actually have to. So I still haven't played it yet. I apologize. Probably oh should goodness. have. So I can have. I'm gonna sit it. up for this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I. We can go ahead and let Jeff take the reins on this one because oh, he's yeah. definitely oh, played yeah. his fair share of Lego Star Wars the past, oh, plays past every few night. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Plays I, every day. I've gone every day since it released. Um, it's just incredible. So yeah, so what, really. what are some of your first impressions? First like, impressions, um, graphics. Wow. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you, honestly, you, in I, my I, head, I, when I thought that, when Jeff told me that, yeah, I thought, what on earth are you talking about? It's a Lego game. Uh, how good? How good could Lego graphics be? Because they're Lego, right? And then I played it, and I'm like, oh, I get it. Yeah, because a lot of the scenic stuff. Is isn't not Legos. Yeah, the setting and the surroundings, the environment is isn't Legos, but it has Lego. It has all the like pieces of it, like the uh, like plants are Legos, but the jungle itself looks like a jungle. Yeah, in the back. Yeah, and it's so they the graphics team on that just did an incredible job. Yeah, it in, is in weaving game. Legos in and out of the area you're playing. Uh, it's, re- it's pretty incredible, honestly. The deserts are. Wild, Insane. yeah, yeah. It's it's Tatooine re- is awesome. Tatooine is great. Tatooine is massive. That's another thing about just the entire game. The game it's is open. yeah, like so <sighs> crazy. There's big. so much to do. It's so I, like all the cities are really big. I'm talking like I'm four episodes down out of nine, and I haven't unlocked even half of the galaxy yet. Well, wow. how many? You know how many characters? Unlockable. Unreal. Like, I don't know I'm the sure exact amount, but I know they have them split up by categories, and there's like twenty five. Yeah, there. And each there's one. like ten to twelve different categories of characters, and each one has twenty or so characters in them. And then plus, like, there's other subcategories in terms of like the characters' role or specialty or class. Yes, that, that's what have, I like, mean by category. Or this what you meant by yeah, category? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and there's like different have, skill trees. Protocol for, droid, astromechs. Heroes, and you have to have certain Jedi, ones to do certain things on the certain mission. Bounty hunters, scoundrels, like so. This seems like there's a lot more depth. So you have you yeah. know like more of an RPG element where you have yes. like character progression, yes. and, and you kind of use that. You, that. That's actually a good point do you too. Upgrade. I actually don't know. I haven't got some far into it, but do you upgrade the skill tree for each person individually, or um, is it all like e- the main character skill tree? Because um, I've seen the main like the main, main skill tree, main characters. Okay. So there is your skill tree yeah, that applies I've to every character you play. Yeah. And then there's also the category. So you can level skill up each tree. category individually. Right. So now my scoundrel, so like whenever I play with Han Solo, right? 
I can now do a tactical slide. If I hit somebody, it'll do damage, and I can shoot another person while sliding. So yeah, there's there's like so skill issues other ways. Wild wild. Too. Yeah. That's awesome. So that's pretty, so it's not just like a oh your stats increase or oh you have more. No. It's more like yeah, hey, you get this cool new ability yep. to engage in certain situations the with main more creative tree. creative ways. The main skill tree is the one that is like stats increase. Yeah, it's more like, like damage so and running so faster. So it's split between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can get the abilities on the other one. Yeah, that's cool. Um, another really important thing to say about it is it is one thousand percent a Star Wars game and not a Lego game, and that's a very distinct yeah. difference that is seen in this game. Yeah. So it seems like the, I've noticed that it seems the like the emphasis is on the the star wars yes yeah. and then it, but it just so happens to be uh in the lego universe the playthrough are super accurate yeah like movie wise yeah a lot like, of them are sped up like it, it speeds up the dialogue yeah but uh, i mean you get the gist of the same dialogue that's happening in the movie at that time yeah for sure. Like, it'll hit you with a cutscene, and you'll get, like, a cutscene that's, like, a scene from the actual movie, almost. Yeah. But mm-hmm. it's, it's like, edited to where you might get four of the lines instead of the full thing. Right. And another uh, thing about that also is, so one of the biggest things about this that everybody was so highly anticipating was mumble mode. <laughs> so you could yeah. go back to the old grunt style. Yeah. Like, it was, um, but I think something that's really amazing about this one is i don't know of one person really using it because the because voice the acting voice is, acting is awesome. unbelievable in this game i've I, so many of the voices sound like the original yeah like, I mean, have you seen the one i talked about it to somebody i don't remember which one if it was either of you guys with it's pretty it's leia right where originally even in the game so in like the oh first couple scenes or first scenes of that you see leia in the movies she talks with a british accent correct Yep. Yeah. And it was something that Carrie Fisher tried and then moved away from and they never edited it out. Mm. So she originally has a British accent and then it's gone for the rest of the movies. Yep. She never has it again, other than like that one, two scenes at the beginning of Yep. And it's in the first couple of scenes of oh, the Lego Star Wars, cool. the actress has the British accent. Yeah. And then she doesn't have it the rest of the time. So that that's one well, thing it, that it's true to the quality of the movie. Like she had the British the British accent that Carrie Fisher tried for like literally one to two scenes. Yeah. And then it was gone the rest of the time. She talked normal like Princess Leia. The details were obviously very important to them. Um, oh. And so it's just really cool to see that. And I think they incorporated that into the humor as well. Like yeah. the, yes. the, they they were like and then that I think that's the one one thing that a lot of the Lego Star Wars team. I think most of the Lego Star Wars team do really well is, is that humor and kind of telling the story was you know pretty good accuracy but in their kind of own humorous quirky fun yeah way. and so well, that like, appeals to a lot yeah, of I mean, it was, they see first time they meet darth maul that's yeah. one that i remember that was funny is you know they meet darth maul they see him and he opens his two-sided lightsaber he opens one side then the other yeah of his two-sided lightsaber and it flashes back to uh Obi Wan. It was Obi Wan, and Obi Wan lights his lightsaber, and then he looks at the other end of it, <laughs> and he just starts like hitting it, and he's like, he's like, what, like, where's the other side of my lightsaber? <laughs> uh, another good one that I just got through because I just got all the way through episode three, um, is Order sixty six was being ordered, and the Emperor got on there and said, execute Order sixty seven. <laughs> And the clones all started um, disco dancing. (laughs) And then he had to open up his book of commands to give the clones (laughs) and read through it. He was like, oh, no, Order 66. And all the stormtroopers, like, put their head down because they didn't get to dance anymore. And then they killed all the Jedi. (laughs) And then mass murder. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Mass Lego murder. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's it's really cool. I say it's been a very good game. Yeah, I'm not. I'm only two movies in. Jeff's four, so he's further than me. It is so much to do in it. I mean, I I am grinding. I know a lot further into each level and 
world than Brian is. I'm current. I mean, I haven't played a ton because right. I have to track it by other stuff. But the, when I played, my idea was that just to see if it was a better way to do it or not, I was going to try it as to where I just do the main mission and just go through. And then I'd go back and free play to complete all the other stuff. Right. And I've been doing the opposite. Right. Jeff does it all where we're like time. I'm like grinding through all of it as I'm going through it, mm. and I'm also twice as far as Brian yeah. <laughs> doing that. But that's kind of how I like it. But I, each episode after doing that, I only have completed fifty percent on average. Oh, I'm, it seems like there's a lot. Of that's because there's so much of it that you have to go back after you do free play that's with true other too. characters. Yeah, that's big. That's a big thing with the Lego Star Wars franchises. After yeah. you unlock new characters, get a new abilities, etc., etc., you can et cetera, et cetera, go back to stuff, get yeah, with stuff the characters for completion. So, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a great game. I think that, I mean, it's going to be around for a while. It'll be played for a while. Yeah. It's a fun game. I definitely think it would be potential it game of the year. It would game of the year chance if, if the other games that were released this year didn't exist. Yeah. No, 100%. But if you know, I mean, Elden God of Ring, War, Elden, Elden Ring, Ring, God of War is coming. Elden Ring's already out, so like all those games are going to probably beat it. But it is deserving of being in the conversation, and will probably win awards. Oh, definitely, yeah. So sure. moving on, yeah. Overwatch two, Overwatch two, baby. So the NDA embargo was lifted today or yesterday. Yes. So we got to finally see gameplay from the Overwatch 2 Alpha. And my goodness, it looks beautiful. Oh, it looks so good. I love everything about it. So many changes. That being said, this is coming from two people who are addicted to Overwatch 1. And it has been dead for two years. We are uh, definitely... Take that for what you want. (laughs) We're definitely... uh, We want some more content. And we're... Because we've... It's... There's been a lack of Overwatch content for a very, 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 <laughs> it's, it's very on, long time. It's about two years, maybe a little more. About two years. I think they it was 2020. The they haven't updated the game in two years. It yeah. hurts. They've had balance changes, things like that. The last no big, new heroes. Yeah, n- nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. So. No hero reworks, anything. No meta changes. A couple meta nice. changes, I guess. They just weren't big ones. No, yeah. So we've been, play, we've been playing Double Barrier for a year and a half. Oh, yeah, it's been very amazing. Jeff just wants to play Lucio. I mean, he, just wants to play Lucio. he doesn't Lucio. care what the meta is. It's He's just true. going to play Lucio. Lucio is the meta. Lucy, Lucio true. is the meta in my words. <laughs> I agree with Jeff. Remember that one time I had golden damage as a Lucio? He had yeah. like golden everything. <laughs> yeah, it was wild. It's not a good thing, but it no, happened. No, it, it's, I mean, it's definitely not a good thing, but I, Jeff sucks at the game. So <laughs> get, get yeah. Yeah. Jeff was actually just left on speed the whole time, didn't know he could heal. <laughs> That's happened before. <laughs> it still had the cold. <laughs> it still had the cold. He got it from the sound barriers. I can put up numbers in healing. No. Oh, baby. Yeah. But, baby. But yeah, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so with the Overwatch 2 Alpha, we got the the reworks on Doomfist and Orisa officially announced. So yeah, there's they, they have, in the Alpha gameplay, there's been a lot of Alpha gameplay. Yes. Um, like as Ryan said, the embargo has been lifted. Um, so a lot of the content creators have been posting uh, their first impressions, uh, kind of like what the new hero abilities are, um, a lot of the reworks. So one of the big ones is Doomfist, who was originally a damage character, has moved over He's to the a tank category. Tanky boy now. And so, he got so much more health. And so, yeah, True. a lot of the tanks, most of the tanks, since he, they're moving from a 5v5 damage, format. Uh, and he has a shield block thing now. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So they moved a lot of the, uh, oh, a lot of the health values around for the tank category because we're in a five eight format. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So, so no, that's that. I'm really looking forward to that, especially the five v five format. We were watching a little Coming bit of from gameplay. Nate, who is also you know he's a tank main, but also <laughs> I a tank main. No, but you're I guess you're a heal main, but you also plays really well in tank. But you're. I, I like Doomfist, but you like Doomfist, and he's a tank, which I'm just better at the tank role in general. Yeah. So that's what I was getting little, at: is that you were a better life. tank, and you also really enjoyed playing Doomfist. This seems like the best of both worlds for you. Oh, one hundred percent. He also looks really, really good. With a lot yes. of the ability changes. He does currently look very good. So, um, Winston also looks very good. 
we could probably talk a little Monkey. bit more, a little bit more about like Monkey. our our impressions of the character <laughs> changes and like that. If we could spend so much time specifically on all the format changes, all the hero changes, all new the map, yeah. changes. map changes. I mean, there's map everything. changes and new maps. New character Sojourn. They put Sojourn's release trailer out. Yeah, yeah. so new hero. It is yeah. a content overload for a game that hasn't had content in two years. Exactly. True. And we've played it anyway. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> we played yeah. I don't know. We just it just it just keeps coming back. It just our it, keep, it keep, that's what it feels like. It, just, it felt like we try to like get away from the game. Really went away. Yeah, it, but it just keeps coming back <laughs> to us. I don't True. know. <laughs> that's what it feels like. It's, it's like, because the <laughs> comp mode is goaded. It's they, so good. They do that very well, and a lot they do of games very well, and a lot are, of games don't. Yeah, are adapting kind of, are trying to adapt that that similar system. Apex does it well too. Yes, I think Apex. Might even do it better. Might even do it better. But, but we're bad at that game. But yeah. No, we're, we're, we're not PCs so, we're, we're now. All, we're all no, so, we weren't made it terrible. <laughs> we weren't terrible, but our skill-based matchmaking put us in pred lobbies, and we did not grind hard enough to get to that level. True. So because me and Nate no-life the game at the beginning. But everyone was get, bad. When everyone was bad, we got put into skill-based pred lobbies. And then we see the pred trails falling out of the sky, and we yeah. try to eco challenge them, and we die because they're preds, and we are not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that and is I'm just a lifeline. <laughs> and Jeff, of course, is playing the one the support character, character. The, the one, one support character. character, and it's the only <laughs> character he ever plays. <laughs> and dang it, I'm good at it <laughs> because he chose one, and he never chose, never even looked at a different one. How am I supposed to know how to play that one if I, I don't it's, play it's it all true. the time? Yeah, it's true. It it's, works. It, it's, a, it's a good method. What if they change something? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they changed that character a lot. That's like true. Three times. Changed, like three or four times. They made so many changes. Anyway, well, we're getting a little, a little off track oh, there. Oh my goodness, we were getting lost in thought again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lit again. But yeah, yeah so I mean, exactly. we, 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 that one we had, I mean, we don't have to dig super fur, super into that one because ideally you can come watch our stream on Tuesday True. and we'll be on playing play. and talking about it. True. At the least, we will be playing Overwatch 1 and talking about it if we don't get the beta keys that we are signed up for. Which, yep. no, I signed up. As soon as I heard, I was saying, I signed up released. the first day too. <laughs> as did I. Yeah, so, I, say, I think everyone did. So hopefully we'll have. I don't know how exactly how if it's a random pool in terms of like I think when they it, they said it was based off of. It it took like five things into account, and it kind of just based it off of that. So, however, one of the things was uh, your PC uh, capabilities. Oh really? And all of ours are pretty high, so. So hopefully, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully we, we should will. be chilling. Nice. Some some priority in that. Uh, yeah, that was on the list because they wanted to make sure that the PCs, the people playing, had PCs that were able to run the game. Right. So yeah. There were certain requirements your PC had to meet, and ours were well above it. Oh yeah. So nice. I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully, uh, we can get some gameplay for you and and. Let me tell you, if we do get those keys, be prepared. Yeah, we're probably streaming it every day next yeah. week. Yeah, we will. We'll be pushing out the that. So because we'll definitely be playing it every day next week. So there's no reason we shouldn't we, just we, hit the go yeah. live button at we, that point. We might as well. <laughs> so we might as well. True, honestly. And it's gonna be the same group of people that would be playing if we streamed anyway. So nice. Yeah. It works out. So it just works out perfectly. So. So yeah, so and we yeah, don't even have to go into voice chat and get yelled at by the toxic Overwatch community because they added a ping system. Oh, that's, oh, so, that's nice. so great. That's right. That's another big thing, the ping system, and I think that's probably one of the biggest changes. Yeah, I think it's one of the most important changes as well. Yeah, it's I can sure. say the amount of times that I have just spun around trying to convey a message to my teammates who either can't hear me or I can't remember the name of the character because it <laughs> starts with R and I shout this. Wrong, wrong R character six times before I get to the right one. Yeah, with wrong the Reaper, R-ker. Roadhog, and yeah. everyone else before I ever get to Reinhardt, and I'm like, it's the one with the hammer. Yeah, <laughs> it's the one with. The- you just gotta go. You, yeah, you gotta bring. Hey, hammer boy. Hammer boy. Primitive hammer boy. You just go, and uh, that uh, is why <laughs> I refer to Winston as Monkey. 
<laughs> because <laughs> every, so easy to, yeah. everyone knows who, who it is. It's true. And Orisa is horse. That makes sense. Because it's she has four legs. No, she yeah, I got it. I got she's it. She's like gallops yeah. when she jumps. Right. Yeah, yeah. She looks exactly like a horse. Yeah, no, I got it. Yeah, but they might not. Or like a minute actually. They, I might what do you mean neck. by they? Those, the people listening, Jeff. I see. Those people. Long story short, oh, no. Marisa looked like a horse. Yep. Or sometimes a beetle. It depends what skin you put. Oh, my goodness, Brent, the horse. <laughs> the horse beetle. So, with that, let's. Go ahead and wrap things up. Uh, thank you for all of your guys' support. Well, we have a couple of things that we should probably announce before we get super far into the outro. Well, um, that we haven't talked about yet. These are new things that I didn't put on the list. Okay. What What are those? In the we link? need to save some time, though. Hopefully, for Eric, we won't have, you know, if Eric ever does show up, <laughs> True. we don't have enough Rude. time for. The but go ahead. Um, in the link in the description below. So, long story short, we were streaming. We use Streamlabs to stream. It's a website. I set up our logo because it asked for our logo for our channel, and it accidentally launched an entire merch line. <laughs> Ooh! In which I you then went bird. back and I have now fixed it and it looks very good. So we do have an actual merch line. If anyone would be interested <laughs> in buying merch for our channel, we have a merch line. We'll put the link in the description below. It is Streamlabs. I believe it's streamlabs.com slash lost in thought three. I don't know why it has a three, but it does. It is something like that. I'll put the exact link in the description below. We might even flash it up on the screen. Buy the hat. There's a hat. There's a coffee we mug. Get a, cool. there's, a, there's a mug. There's a tumbler. Um, there's a cropped hoodie and a regular hoodie. Um, T-shirt. Backpack. Backpack. There's all kinds of stuff. There's a ridiculous amount of stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. I spent like a couple hours just making stuff to put on it. And so it's like a champion backpack too, it right? Is, it's all quality bo- material. Yeah, it is, yeah, there's it a couple is very champion nice items. Stuff. There's nice stuff. So that'll be on there. Um, we don't really get to set the prices, but we get a proceed a portion of everything. So if you feel like supporting us and you want something out of it, that is a way to do it. The other thing is, is we do have a donate link on our stream. If you want to pop into a stream and you feel like you want to donate something to the channel, everything that we get goes back into the channel. We don't really keep any of it because we don't have a reason to. That's right. Yeah. So, so we, this we is all just have, fun. So this, this is just this is kind of like, yeah, this is kind so of everything start. that we get goes back into our channel. And if you feel like you want to give money to that, then that is the way to do it. It is on there. It is available and you don't have to like, don't feel like we're True. sitting here begging for money. Oh no, yeah. 100 I mean, this is just, if you feel led to donate to the channel, that is the way to do it. And um, if you buy the merch or um, donate to the channel, we do get alerts on it on our stream. So it'll pop up on the screen and it'll say, hey, this person supported the channel. So if you want to do it while we're live on a Tuesday, then it'll pop up. It, it even shows the merch. It says it's like, hey, this person bought, say your username or if you have your name on your YouTube account, it'll say your name. It's like, Hey, this person bought a sweatshirt. This person bought a hat. This person bought so like it'll pop up like an alert, just like if you subbed or if you subscribe or follow or ring or any of that stuff. Yep. So it is pretty cool. It does the little things like that. Streamlabs was very cool, very easy to set up. So we have a lot more stuff than we used to have because we finally set it up. Ooh. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. If you feel led to do that, I wanted to make sure that we put that out there because Otherwise, we just have a merch store that we don't use, and that feels <laughs> kind of dumb. <laughs> I mean, if I accidentally made it, and then I have took the time to fix it, we should probably at least talk about it. Yeah, and so in, that was asked about uh, potential ways to, to donate. That's so. true. Did, we did have some people ask we about some, that. Some people asked, and that's one way to yeah. do it. So That's one way to do it, and you get something out of it that way. If you don't feel it, or if you don't want the stuff, you know, you don't have to buy it if you don't really wear sweatshirts or anything, you can just donate to the channel. That's there too. No, oh, yeah. So And there, there'll be two separate links. One will take you to the donate page and one will take you to the merch page. Yep. So, yeah. Sweet. All right. Well, I think that's everything. 
I think that's yeah. I think we're yeah. I think we're done here today. <laughs> yeah. I do think we are. So thank you guys for listening. Uh, thank you for supporting. If anyone buys the merch before we go live on Tuesday, thank you for that. If you don't, maybe we'll wear it. That way you can see what it looks like before. True. We'll we'll get our own in and maybe you'll be able to see it on us before you decide if you want to buy it or not. That's true. We should do that. Yeah. That night, right. I was definitely talking about that. So. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, peace out, guys. See you.